All right, everyone, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle, and the lock we're going to take a look at this time is the Pro Series. It's a Master Lock Pro Series. This is the 1177. It's a resettable uh, dial combination lock. And uh, I've got to tell you, um, we give Master Lock a lot of flack on YouTube, uh, and rightly so. Uh, but one thing I think, in my opinion, that they Master Lock got right was uh, their Pro Series padlocks. They are pretty decent padlocks. Um, whenever people ask me, because they know I'm a lock nut, hey, what kind of padlocks a decent padlock? And, and the local stores around here, they mostly carry Master Lock, so I'll tell them if they got the Pro Series, get the Pro Series. Uh, because, again, they're pretty decent. But this dial combination lock falls short of all that. Uh, and I'll show you why. Uh, they made it very easy to uh, decode these. Um, you've seen me decode dial combinations like this before, um, where you look for the uh, flat spot basically on the axle inside there. These are even worse. They've got literally like a hole. The tool just falls. I mean, they, they made it super easy. Super easy. So, how does this work and how do you reset it? Well, you got the little pamphlet there that shows you, but I'll show you right now. From the factory, you can see, usually they're centered right here, but Master Lock offset these. You see the little black lines right there. So it's all set to zeros, zero, 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 zero. So the lock will open. All right, so to reset the combination, you just lift the shackle, rotate it 90 degrees, push it down another 90, and then you can reset the combo. I'll show you, we'll just go one, 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 one and then bring this back up and now it's one 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 okay that easy so let's go back put it back to zeros and by the way to put your uh, number in these numbers stop at zero when you go that way they don't go past the zero so you have to come this way down to go past the zero you see what I'm saying so back to zeros boom Boom, now the lock will open at zeros. So that easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a number that I do not know and show you how to easily decode these with one of these. They're called mini knives. Uh, this one right here happens to be from Peterson. We'll just go with this dude right here. Very thin. If you're gonna buy these, I always recommend you buy more than one because you're gonna jack some up, okay? So I'll show you how easy this is done. Uh, let's see, shackle is up, we're going to push it down, bring it around, now I'm going to face it away from me, and I'm going to scramble the heck out of them numbers, make sure I get all four, three, two, one, okay. Scramble them up pretty good there, fair to say those are scrambled pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to make sure they're like on a number where they click because you don't want them to be like between. Okay, click, click. All right, now I'm going to bring this up. Now I'm going to scramble them up so I don't know it. Make sure all four are scrambled up. Now it's fair to say I don't have a clue what this number is. Let's go back to the zeros. And you'll see it doesn't work. Now, I have no clue what that number is. Fair to say? All right, so what we need to do is we're going to go down just like we did on some of the other ones. Same same idea, down on the side of the wheel. But for these, the tool is actually going to just fall right into a hole. I'll try and show you that. So let me uh, start with this wheel over here. And we're just going to roll around until we find that. There we go. We already found one. I think it's right there. So stay right there. Okay, we got one of them. There's another one right there. I mean, they fall in. Let me see if I can show you. You see how far that falls in right there? And I mean, it's a big, big groove. You can't miss it. You really can't. I think a, a beginner would be able to do one of these real easy. Well, right, oh, there's one right there. It was already there. Leave that one there, rotate around, and 
this one is right there so there they are so we got three one four three but that's not the number what we need to do is rotate them all this way down uh, five positions each one so I'm gonna go one two three four five 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 boom just like that so yeah like I said when when you find them uh, on, on some of these other dialogues what we're doing is we're dragging the tool across it's kind of like an axle going across okay let me see if I can find something something around here we go I got this thing right here um, so what we're doing is we're there's sort of an axle going across inside there right and we're just dragging the tool across rotating the wheels right until we find a flat spot kinda like that that's when we know we're in the right spot but on this lock the tool actually just falls right in it's like a hole so that's what we're doing we're rubbing turn the wheel rub it turn the wheel rub it and then it'll just kind of plunk right in there that's when you know they're at the right spot once you line all those up right here do like I showed you each one back five positions and you got it open that simple so I'm gonna reset this again I'm gonna go down over put it back to zeros back up and over now it's back to factory so it's that easy folks so like I said um, a lot of their pro series padlocks are pretty darn good but this one obviously does fall short they made that way too easy that's an old exploit and it should not happen uh, and I just picked this lock up recently, so obviously it's still happening. <laughs> All right. So, uh, any hoodles. Yeah, I picked that up from what? Mr. Lock. It was like 27 bucks. Uh, so there it is. The Master Lock 1177 Pro Series. Uh, decoded very easily. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I highly appreciate it. Uh, remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because all the cool people are doing it. If you want to be cool, subscribe. I need your support. Thank you. <laughs>